Hey everyone, Eric here from the Aviation Gear TV Network and of course Rocking Dead back with you today for an episode recap which includes my change of thoughts on Rick Grimes' final episode of The Walking Dead. Plus, we'll talk about some other very recent developments in the world of The Walking Dead. And as we go through this video, we'll show you some exclusive photos from next week's episode, Who Are You Now?, which is now six years into the future. Before we begin, I'll issue a spoiler alert warning if you have not seen the final episodes featuring Rick Grimes. Also, if you're new here to the channel, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I promise to work just as hard to keep you as a subscriber as I did to get you as one. Okay, so in my last video, I talked about my distaste with AMC's direction of an open ending to Rick Grimes' exit. Being a lifelong fan of the show, and Rick being my favorite character, my hopes were for a definitive exit. In other words, a death of the character. One might say, why would you want your favorite character to die? Well, if he's exiting, I prefer it with a death and provide closure. Having a six-year time jump in place such as they do, it would be a very good and easy way to magnify the closure. So in my video, I mentioned that myself along with my son were not really excited for the show last night. It was the first time in years, actually the first time ever, for me not looking forward to a Walking Dead episode. I also went as far as to say that I could honestly foresee myself skipping a couple episodes here and there and not really have much regret over it. Well, let's just say, we watched the episode last night and greatly enjoyed it. I was looking forward to the flashback scene mainly for the return of Shane and Herschel. Sasha was also in the flashback and in my opinion offered very little to the scene, but the whole passing out and coming to by Rick as he continued the hallucinations was pretty incredible. Now don't let my optimism fool you that I was okay with the ending. I wasn't and still am not, but I do get it. There's a difference between accepting it and getting it. I do feel AMC kind of cheated this by saying Rick Grimes' final episodes, but in their defense, they were not lying, as these technically were Rick Grimes' final episodes on television. Andrew Lincoln was not kidding or beating around the bush back at Comic-Con when he said, my relationship with Rick Grimes is far from over. What we discovered last night is that Rick's survival exit will now take him into the world of three, yes, three major movies featuring the life of Rick Grimes. These will not be on the big screen. Rather, they'll be standalone movies on the AMC network, all featuring a continued story of Rick. It sounds as if the story will pick up immediately where he left off, being rescued. Where it goes from there, no one other than Scott M. Gimple and the powers that be at AMC know. So that is very cool, and I also think this opens the door for other great standalone movies. The backstory of Negan comes to mind, first and foremost. The Governor, another. How about a movie telling us about the crazy brotherly relationship Daryl and Merle had? So when AMC recently announced they had plans to take The Walking Dead 10 years into the future, they weren't kidding. And now with these ideas on the table, some of them already in progress, I can see exactly how they can not only do that, but might even surpass 10 years. Now, does that mean The Walking Dead show, as we know it, can last 10 years? That I don't think will happen, and I personally think one or two more seasons should be the right number, but who knows? And speaking of deals, let's talk about a blockbuster headline coming out of The Walking Dead camp. This is from an article at comicbook.com, and it talks about a major contract signing with Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl, and Melissa McBride, who plays Carol. I'll link to the article below in the description, but I'll give you a bit of a snippet from it right now. Andrew Lincoln and Lauren Cohen may have departed The Walking Dead on Sunday night, but AMC wasted no time in signing on the replacements to massive new franchise mega deals. Both Norman Reedus and Melissa McBride have already put the pen to paper on their new contracts while Denai Guerrera is still in negotiations. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Reedus, who plays Daryl, McBride, who plays Carol, have signed substantial new deals for their overall Walking Dead franchise that will both exist beyond the main series itself. Either one of the two characters could spin off into their own movie or onto another series if they're written off the regular Walking Dead show. No matter what, both McBride and Reedus are now signed to the Walking Dead universe for a total of three years. Here's where we get into some big money. Reedus will make $350,000 per episode on The Walking Dead and guarantees in his new contract reportedly make the deal worth anywhere between $50 and $90 million over the next three years. McBride's new deal is said to be worth around $20 million over the same time period, which gives her a significant pay increase. The deals that we made for Norman and Melissa are franchise deals that allow us the flexibility to either move them or use them in more than one place, depending on what seems creatively right to Scott and his partners, uh, AMC programming president David Madden told The Hollywood Reporter. We do look at this as a universe where we're trying to expand it to as many different places as the show fits. We think this is a franchise that could live across multiple formats. So we want to do it carefully, we want to be strategic, we want to try to do it right. But there is a multi-year plan that could include additional series, digital content, and specials. Guerrera, who obviously is referring to Michonne, her deal is a little more complicated, simply because she's become a breakout star in both film and theater. Her role on the Black Panther and the overall Marvel Cinematic Universe has helped the actress gain attention around the world, making her deal a bit harder to negotiate. 
So that's a good portion of the article from comicbook.com. Please check out the link in the description below for the full article and other great news items in the universe of The Walking Dead. This will also wrap up my video here today and just telling you I'm not afraid to admit I had bad feelings going to last night's show only to change them thereafter. There may be some of you out there that shared some of the same feelings. Some of you may be mad. Some of you may stop watching and who knows what lies in between emotion wise, but I'm sharing with you the viewers of my channel. In closing, I think with the exit of Rick Grimes and a major time jump, it's almost as if AMC had a big red reset button under a glass dome in the executive's office, simply with one push, reset The Walking Dead. Please, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Rick Grimes' final episode last night, what you think of the time jump, and if you agree we have a fresh new The Walking Dead for all of us to enjoy, share your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be part of the family. Until next time, cheers.